Hi, my name is Selena, and I'm a graduating senior at Nushin. Not sure if all of you guys know me, but yeah, about that too. So this video, I'm going to talk about academic performance. So I know you guys are all worried about grades and studying and getting classes passed. But it's actually not that hard just to study because, I mean, I've been getting pretty good grades and I don't particularly study because studying makes me fall asleep every time I do that. So the way I study is just that I flip through a couple pages and that's it. I don't even try to memorize everything. It's not like I have like packets and packets of notes where I just have them sitting there. I mean, basically they're just collecting dust, so. But it's good to have them because you never know when you would need them in the future. And sometimes just having them, it's good for another class if the subjects are like correlated. And sometimes it's good just to have them with you like in a folder and stuff. So that way you won't lose anything and you're more organized that way. That helps you with studying also. And as for getting good grades in class, I mean, if you do everything that you do, like homework and projects and presentations, you do a very good job on them, then you guarantee good grades already. So there's no need to try extra hard for the grades, as long as you don't procrastinate, like sleep the night, like at 3 o'clock after you start watching TV or gaming or talking to friends all night, then you're guaranteed like good grades. And teachers are not out to get you, you can always ask them for help. I mean, not every teacher is mean and not every class is boring. And even though you find them boring, don't just like stop working hard in that class. You have to find something that motivates you to work hard and to study hard because that is ultimately what gets you past the four years. And I mean, for me, I don't really know what I've been doing for four years, but I mean, it helped me pass and I got really good grades. So remember just to reach out to teachers and reach out to your friends also because those who are taking the same classes as you have the same homework and knows the same stuff that you. So if you like combine all your knowledge together, that homework makes it so much easier and the class so much easier as well because you're taking it together, you're also having fun in that class together. As long as you stop talking in classes and be disrespectful, you'll be awesome. And I mean, sometimes you just gotta do what you have to do, like sleep early the night before just so you can wake up and be fresh all over again and ready to learn things again. Just always remember that no matter what you do, you always have to work hard you always have to pay attention in class, and you have to try your best, no matter if it's studying, or working hard to get good grades, or building good relationships with your teachers, because all these things will count for like, your academic performance in the future. <laughs> Thank you. After graduating from Mission, I'm gonna be attending Austin College, which is a really good liberal arts college in LA, California. And I got to that point because of what Mission has taught me, and for all of the success that I did, such as ACT scores and GPAs. Because if I managed to get those right, then I could guarantee like I have a bright future ahead of me. And for all of my friends as well, because all of them got into really great colleges, and they managed to get their work done and everything done in order for them to get to where they are. So basically, don't stress out right now, depending on what grade you're in, but still, don't stress out that much, because you still have time to make things work and make things count. Because if you just focus on grades right now, that won't get you really that much far. You have to think about the bigger picture. What are you getting the grades for and why you're trying so hard to study and to like pass the class? Because like I said, if it's a class that you don't like or a class that thinks drags, you have to find something that motivates you in order to do well in that class. Sometimes it might be just like having a friend there or sometimes just like in the teacher. It's just the little things in classes that make you work hard in them. And no matter what it is, you should always try no matter what, even if the teacher's like really horrible, which none of my teachers are, they always help me do better. But um, transition from all this, Mission has really taught me to manage my time really well because of all my classes and all my other extracurricular activities that I do. I really need to set up a schedule for myself which I actually should have done, but I didn't do. But I should have done that in order to like save time, like have some free time for myself, and still have time to get other works done. Because if you budget your time for homework, budget your time for extracurricular activities, and budget time for yourself, you guarantee that time is a stress-free, like, mission life. Because you get to work hard, you get to enjoy yourself, and you get a bunch of perks in the middle, too. Of course, I mean, the end goal is important, but for right now, as long as you work hard in high school, you're guaranteed to see results once you like transition to college. Because college is kind of like high school, especially in Mushin, because we are college prep. So you think about it that way, it is easier for you in the future, because you already have this routine set up for yourself that makes it so much easier for you to go into college with. You can even take it to college with, too, if you want to do it. Well, that's all I have for you today. Bye!